I guess the big question is, what's wrong with it? After the drags, we hit some misfires, so better pull it down and investigate. Let's get to it. Well, uh, that'd be the reason why um, why the car was misfiring. There's no f***ing ends on the plugs left. They're gone. Absolutely well and truly stuffed. That's scary. So what do you guys reckon? What causes that? Heat range 7 plug, gap to point 6. Is it the tune? Has something gone wrong? All four of them have done it. Completely missed the tips. Off the ends of the plugs. What do you reckon? Put a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Alright, so now we found the problem. Spark plugs. Done a bit of investigation. Doesn't look like it's done any damage to the motor. I guess time will tell. Um, so now I'm just going to start pulling it apart and changing a few things. So there's a couple of bits and pieces that need switching out to make this a little bit more reliable. And then, yeah, we'll have a crack at vacuum testing it and get it back to the dyno. Yeah. So the main stuff I want to get rid of is there is a uh, map sensor that sits at the back there. It's got this horrible, crazy um, extended pipe for it to be there. So I'm going to pull that off. And I want to get rid of that, and I want to get rid of that port there as well, um, and pull out the AIVC, so the um, idle control valve, and I also want to pull out the speed sensor that's located in behind there, because I've got no speedo, and there's no speed input into the ECU. was the mechanism that I didn't like. I think we would have had vacuum leaks there that was stuck into the back here. So I'm going to take this out and get a bung welded onto here to suit this thread and then that'll just go straight in. We won't have to muck around with this crazy adapter thing. And I'm going to get this cut off and weld it up and we're just going to go over the whole intake plane and make sure there's no leaks in it. Okay so we can now remove this, the IVAC, idle control valve. If you've ever changed a GDIR speed sensor, you know they live all the way down in there. So I got the speed sensor out, our speedo wasn't working, and we weren't getting a speedo input into the ECU. So I've ripped that out as well, we'll change that and see if it makes any difference, hopefully it does. Alright, it's pouring down with rain out there, which makes a crappy order, but I just got the new speed sensor in, so she's down in there now. When the man with the welder comes and pays you a visit. Cheers Mike, really appreciate that bro. Two 1 8 NPT fittings welded on, one on the intercooler pipe, one on the back of the plenum, and our idle control valve air pieces welded up, so we don't have to worry about them causing us vacuum leaks either. So I got all the injectors out, so you can see the ends of these. It looks like they've all been pushed in and rounded, and the rubber separated from the uh, from the rest of the O-ring. So we'll just consider those one-time, one-use um, O-rings, and just replace them all before I put the rails back in. Um, I guess that's the advantage of owning a parts business. I've got brand new ones on the shelf when it's Christmas time, so that makes things easy. There's one of the old broken ones. Um, you can see how it's separated away. So I'll throw that in the bin. And yeah, we'll change these over and get these rails back into the intake plenum and the intake plenum back onto the car. So just also just taken the top off the wastegate to inspect the diaphragm to make sure it's all good, which it looks like it is, and um, to change the wastegate spring. So that sits in there, but this is only 10 psi, so we want to increase that to 18 pound, make it a bit firmer because um, we're getting a bit of boost creep up around that 27, 28. So. Hopefully that'll fix our problems. Been waiting for this. Alright, so we got our 10 pound spring sitting in there. And this is a 8 pound spring, so it 
just goes inside there like that. And now, oh yeah, that's tight ads. That's supposed to be good for 18 psi. Sweet, we'll get the top back on and get it all assembled. Alright, intake manifold's back on. Wastegate's back together. We're good to go. Now I just need to pressure test the system. And yeah, I need to take it back to the dyno. Cool.